Hi everyone, this is The Good Life. I'm coming. I do want to apologize of my yesterday video. It cut me off, so I just um, printed the, you know, post the um, dress because everyone always want to know how my makes look on me. But today I'm going to finish up. Well, today I got um, to show you more fabric haul from the thrift store and more um, eBay vintage patterns. And I put the year on it, on them also, so to help people out. Okay, this one right here is a lot of them. This is McCall's 6749 right here and what it is is different um bodice front and back you can interchange the front and back this is 1963 and this is the line drawn right there so you can interchange the front and back which i think that is so awesome so that would be great for the spring and also i have simplicity 1815 this is 1956. It's three different blouses. It's a long sleeve, a short sleeve, and a three-quarter length sleeve. But it has the peanut pan collar. A collar. Got that from eBay. This also is Simplicity 1652, 1956. It's the um, bodice are different. You got the V line, um, the V neck line, and a Peter Pan with extra fabric. Right there. Also, Simplicity 4087, 1952, it has two different skirts. It has the skirt with seven um, buttons and one with two buttons. I thought that was nice. I got these all um, came together for auction. This also Simplicity 1672, I think this is the 60s, is the dress right here with the jacket. That's it. This is Simplicity 1550. It's three different ways you can make the skirt. It can be a small wide, a medium wide, and a wide. Right here. So, I thought that was nice. This is Simplicity 1680. It has um, two different sleeves on the um, front bodice, and it has a shawl. I thought that was amazing. It has a shawl to go with that. So I'm kind of impressed with that. A shawl with pockets. I haven't seen that. Also, Simplicity 1084. It has um, um, the front bodice. It can be closed up short sleeve and it has the pockets or without the pockets and this is 1955 it seemed that that the, um, the 1950s had the date on it but and the 1960s didn't that's what I'm thinking and this is simplicity 1791 1956 it comes with long sleeves with and without the pockets up on the front bodice and yeah this is 1956 and also, I got this on eBay. This is Butterick 5118. It's two different um, blouses. One with um, one with the um, long sleeve or short sleeve. And this is Dewberry. Dewberry, I wanted, um, I never tried out that. I want to make this one the A-line dress. This is Dewberry 5348 right here. This is also a Dewberry 5373. The long, two different long sleeves. The sleeves are one short, one long. And I want to also make this one Dewberry 6166. Is the round neck bodice and the choker bodice neck and also I got a bonus Vogue 5737 it just looks um, Jackie O to me so you can make the skirt long or short or whatever you want the length to be I got a Vogue pattern um, that is 
was number 5343. And you can wear it with um, plaids or, or stripes or with solids. And also McCall's 5466. It can be the wide skirt or a pencil skirt. I like that. And also, I'm going to show you my fabric haul. Look at all this fabric. Okay. This I got today. This is um, twin top sheet. This was going to be an accent. I got it for the accent. This is linen cotton. And look at how pure that white is. And this also is, um, I had so much material left from my dress. This is my dress right here. And so this is the polka dot white. This right here is a curtain. Look at that. That would be a nice blouse. And this is the cotton. This is vintage shapes. And this is linen right here. The linen. Got this from a thrift store. Isn't that nice? The linen. And I have, this is the cotton. Like a cotton poly. Thrift store. And I really like this. This is also thrift store. Look at that. This is a cotton blend. This is a cotton right here. The black with flowers. Then I have this right here. This is vintage um, knit jersey. I love this. This is going to be a dress. This right here is going to be a skirt. This right here. Look at the green. This is going to be a skirt. And this one right here. This is really nice. This is going to be maybe a dress. Then I have this right here. This is a curtain. I think yeah, this is a curtain right here. This is one of my favorites. This is vintage right here. This is a cotton blend right here. This is also a skirt. This is a very suit linen is thick so this is nice for suiting and this right here is a curtain right here it can be a skirt and this also is a curtain it can be a blouse and then I want to um, show you what I also got from the um, thrift store my girlfriend called me and told me that she had this at her shop for five dollars, I went on eBay, and these are from like twenty on up, and it does, it missing a knob, but that's okay. And all of this came with it. The, these are mines right here. I just add this one. This one right here is a seal thimble. This is made out of seal skin, so I just put that on it to keep my shape. All of these were in in it. Also, this was in it too, the tape measure, and all of those were in it. The scissors were in it. And this is the um, pins. And I just got this today. This is a thimble holder. I thought this is cute. Right here. I can open it. Well, I can't open it with one hand, but it's um, a thimble holder, but it's too, uh, my thimbles are too big. And you just close it up. I think this is so neat. And then you open this to draw up and look. All of this came with it. All of this came with it. Right here. All of this came with it. And I can't believe my girlfriend gave it to me for five dollars. And you know, you they they also are selling these with nothing in them for fifty dollars, up to fifty to sixty dollars. And this is a nice cherry wood. And then also I wanted to share with my new um, find is this. This is a vintage junk journal and it's called, 
I'm a material girl. I had this lady, her name's Stacy. Um Treasures, K Treasures. I will put it her information on, on um the bottom. And this is it right here. This is what she made me. Isn't this lovely? I love this. Right here. So when you open it up, right here. She all this came with it. All this came with it. And she sent me this. Bless her heart. Look at this. She sent me this. So I can have notes or, you know, um, posties. She sent me that. She sent me also this. This is the page right here. The first page. I'm just going to go through it. So I'm using this as a journal to write my sewing stuff and notes. And she sent this too. I thought this was darling. She sent this too. This is, I can use this to lean against the writing. I thought this was lovely. This is nice. That I can place, um, I can place, I can place that behind some paper and write. And write on it like, like this. I can do it like this and write on it. So I can, um, so I won't make holes. And then she, this right here, this is another touch. She sent, um, paper clips also. Yeah, and she gave she gave you this. She gave yeah, let's see. Paper clips. See, I wanted 250 pages of writing. I didn't want a lot of um junk can say she sent another um pen, a clip pen. And she has a nice different touch. Yep, then she sent this right here, right there. And then with that, she sent me a a notebook. Isn't that a nice, a notepad? So, all this she sent to me. So, she custom made my, this. Because I wanted um, a lot. And it's three sections. They call it three signatures. It's three sections. See? Right here. One. Then you have two. This right here. A pocket right here. I didn't like, I didn't want a lot of pockets. See this flipping right here, this right here, this nice, you sent that. Then I'm going to the third one. This is the third one. Isn't this nice? I'm every day I'm finding something nice. This is nice. All of this. She did a wonderful job. Yep, so she did a wonderful job, and I was like amazed. Yep, I love the detail, I love um, everything she, she, she um, put in. This is the last of it right here, this is the last of the book, and I love this right here. So I can tie it up so it can get as big as I want to. And also, she sent me a vintage, um, let me see if I can find it. She sent me a vintage, um, I think it's on the second one. I colored it in. She sent me a vintage um, sewing machine. And I colored it in. So I can't find it. But yeah, this is it right here. And then I have another one. Um... This one I got from a lady in Canada. This is my other one right here. But only thing I don't like about it, I don't like about these um, the rings because see it's it, it got too heavy and um, it um, tore. But this is my first one. I mean I like it because I take my Fuji instant camera and I place my mix on here. See, I document all my makes. See. But this is okay because I can document all my makes. And I write down stuff. So this is my make right here. I document it. See, this one I used to use the um, copy machine. And um, and then I said, let me get a, um, an instant camera because I can really see. 
So this is also, I can really see my work, and I'm going to show you the instant camera one. See, this is the instant camera one right here. This is the instant camera. This is my Bolero I made. And what I do, I tell you about it, how, how easy it was. I, I keep notes. So if I go back and um, make it again, I know, um, see, this is my um, Touch and Sew 1968 vintage um, sewing machine I got with the walnut desk. This is also my um, 1940 top. This is my 1940 overalls I made my mom. This is the Simply um, Sewing, um, the, Libby, the Libby dress that came from England. That's the pattern from England. And this is um, a 1950 blouse from Advance. This is the Advance um, black and white polka dot um, 1952 dress. And this is the material I wanted to um, capture in my material. This is my um, pocket. This is my, um, my, my, power, my body pattern I had made. And this is my 1950 blouse. See, yeah, and this is my 1950 um, vest and skirt separate, but I made them with the same material. So I did that. So I really like the Fuji cam um, cam because I was just gonna put. Um, Um, tape on it, um, colorful tape, washi tape on it. So yeah, this is the one I made my mom, a pocket. This is the Italian pocket though. And this is my latest right here. This is my latest I made um, this week. It's the um, Butternick, Butterick, I'm sorry, 3402. And it's this one right here. Right here. This is it. I'm really proud of this dress. It's a nice... Um, Nice rayon. I love it. Mm-hmm. So, um, thank you. And I do apologize. I also want to thank all of my um, new subscribers. I'm up to 88. I am amazed at that. And um, so I'm going to try my best to um, get you, um, you know, give you, keep you updated the things I want to do, the things I'm doing and stuff and show you more so um thank you god bless and i hope the people that's in the wake of the storm please be careful um be safe and take care bye